So in this particular group here, put ear help. So pairing people, pairing somebody up, maybe that's a little bit stronger with someone that might need a little bit of help. I think one time I, I did it and um, and I put a, a, a pretty girl with a, a, a particular young man that wasn't doing his work and it worked like a charm. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. So um, I uh, placing desk next to the teacher. That's, that's a good one too because you get you get to them a little bit quicker. You're able to uh, mm -hmm. identify them. One on one help, student teacher. But we all know who, who the students are at this point in the year who struggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. So some of them you just kind of leave them alone a little bit that work a little bit better. But those that that struggle, you know, you know automatically. Let's let me let me check to see what you're doing. We are yeah. at the seating chart. I, I agree with you. That's one of the biggest things mm -hmm. you can do. Curious is just to know your students and know who works with whom and who doesn't. I, I remember it's, like it's a science. It's an absolute yeah, it science. is a science. It's a know when to do it and how many to do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just pull one student and the whole yeah. dynamic yeah. of the class changes. You would hope to learn skills. One yeah. pairing can be the. Well, so that they can wait. So here we have some of the same things: uh, peer tutoring, one-on-one -on -one help, all the Lottie mini lessons. Mm. This is a good one right here. Some of the students already have the skill. And then uh, I know a lot of you also require them to come, or you, you need to come, you need to come to the mini lesson while the other students are still working independently. Mm -hmm. Technology, YouTube explanations, IEP mods, uh, uh, lunch, come during lunch, come after school for extra enough. help. Uh, encourage them to ask what's going on. Is that what you were trying to say here? No, maybe yes. yes no. No. Ask, okay, so do a one-on-one, -on -one, find out, yeah, that's a good one too, find, finding out what's going on. Sometimes there's something personal that you may not have been aware of, mm -hmm. and it kind of changes your mindset on how you break one. Not only that, I'm sorry, Mr. Police, but what we meant as well is, like, uh, if they need extra help, if something's happening at home, or they're being bullied to direct them to, you know, the, the guidance department, or something like that to help the students. Right. Uh, to get to the bottom of it, of why he or she is not learning or having difficulty learning. We're, P uh, we're actually PLC right now. Yep. Uh, this is we your modified assessment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> okay. uh, modify assessment, talk privately with student, right? Parents, yeah, pa uh, parents change the world. Mm -hmm. And talk to guidance for insight. Okay. Awesome. Uh, there's one more thing I want to do here real quick, and if you have your, let me see. and this kind of talks about some of the things that we've talked about and some of the models, that when the student needs help, you know, you really need to try to make sure that you get to them as quickly as possible. You know, sometimes, and I'm guilty of this, sometimes I, I try to wait it out to see if they'll figure it out, but sometimes that's not the best, best way to do it, you know, try to get them help. Uh, find the intervention and the directive that we talked about earlier. This is part of the model that they use where it's required if they need help. It's directed as opposed to it being optional. Okay. Okay. If you have your electronic device, this is the last electronic thing that we're going to do. So if you can go on today's meet and just share two or three words. Uh, a strategy that you've used that uh, has helped you, and um, we're just going to share. Just to, you know, we have we do have some new teachers, or there might be an idea that you used that uh, that nobody really knows about. Today's mm -hmm. something you use in the classroom. Today's meet. Come to come. From and then slash. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you get on there, just type. You have to join it and put a name, or you can be anonymous, or you can have a real funky name. You could be a secret. Or it's a secret. It's a secret. Please go and share. Did everyone in? I'm gonna go to the next page. Daysmeet.com forward slash WL hyphen NDHS. I just can't. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. What do we answer? 
Uh, just share a strategy, something that you use in class that's one of your most effective strategies. It can be something small, it can be something big, doesn't matter. So it's a secret again. I use I use tickets. I find useful to motivate students. Good. Sarina, I have rearranged desks, placing students that are struggling in the front of the room. Really getting to know them. We're getting to know the students from likes to dislikes and differentiate instruction. That's Rosa. So let me see if I didn't get invited to Rosa, Serena, Super. Ben, TPRS story. Writing in any game that facilitates physical movement. And we have Elena, peer helper, especially when a new student enters the class. Cool. I have another idea, but I don't have the device with me. Usually, what I came up with is a Google Doc, like a the uh, the test at home, mm -hmm. and they say why they choose that answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That they have an idea, so it's not just 